try to D green with this man. Hey. Be like, bro, that's. You can ask me for the time. No way. Way. I call flight with the draft. 2K25 is going to be another sh game, bro. Y'all save your money. Try to get the game when it's free. Instead of working on the game, this is what uh, the leading developer is doing. She even asked me about the build. Ronald, bro, aren't you like pushing 50, bro? So if you are still playing this game in May of 2024, I will pray for you. This is literally one of the worst NBA 2Ks of all time. All of you 2K devs need to be fired. You 2K devs have absolutely none of my respect. You guys are literally promoting little kids to gamble. A lot of your favorite YouTubers don't even play this game anymore. Definitely not trying to promote 2K. Fuck Ronnie and fuck my brain! Nobody has fun playing this shit excuse for a game. But as always, y'all know I gotta give y'all these unbiased, updated 2K ratings. Now it's the playoffs, so players should be playing 125% serious. So let's check it out. Aaron Gordon goes from an 84 to an 85. Uh, can't really get upset about this. Aaron Gordon is actually a very, very important part of the Denver Nuggets. Now, it is not looking good for the Nuggets right now. They are currently down 2-0, but hey, you can never count out Jokic. But if you actually know ball and have basketball IQ like D Green, you know that Aaron Gordon is literally the X factor, bro. When Aaron Gordon is scoring, hitting threes, catching lobs, the Denver Nuggets are literally unbeatable. So I actually respect your 85 overall. Miles Turner, 85 overall. Now, Miles Turner is actually a pretty good center. I mean, let's face it, there's not going to be a lot of trash starters still in the playoffs. So, Ronnie, I don't know how you can fuck up these ratings. Miles Turner can hit threes, he can block shots, so I have no problem with him being an 85 overall. Now, there's a 99% chance the Pacers are going to get bounced out of the playoffs against the Knicks, but PBJ, a 86 overall. Against the Lakers, you were playing like a Fucking God. I know y'all heard what LeBron said about MPJ against the Lakers in the playoffs. Michael Porter Jr. is a fucking laser. I don't know if it's just because he sees the Lakers or the, the gold or whatever. But I feel like versus that motherfucker don't miss. Against the Lakers, this nigga was literally playing like fucking prime Clay Thompson. Fuck prime Clay Thompson. He was playing like prime Kevin Durant. And what are you doing against the Timberwolves now, bro? Where the fuck was this energy against the Lakers? 86 overall? Yeah, you were at 86 overall against the Lakers. Now you're playing like a fucking 72. Niggas be playing their hearts out. Being complete tryhards against LeBron, bro. Niggas get matched against Rudy Gobert and Anthony Edwards, and now you're completely shook. And I have nothing against PBJ, but bro, play consistent. You inconsistent ass player, bro. It's like every time niggas are about to play the Lakers, they automatically buy more boost. Now, y'all need to update PBJ's rating against the Timberwolves, bro. You had nine fucking points? But against the Lakers, you were shooting like fucking prime Ray Allen, bro. I'm telling you, bro, this is why LeBron doesn't have 
six or seven rings by now. Niggas want to be extreme tryhards against the Lakers. PBJ, I don't know if your brother was betting on your last game for you to have under 10 points or what the fuck was going on. But if you don't have at least 20 points in game three, your overall needs to be no higher than an 80. Derek White, 86 to an 87 overall. Now, Derek White is a hooper, bro. I'm not going to even hate on Derek White. You know what? And Reggie was lobbying hard for this guy. Miles Turner? No, it was Derek White of the Boston Celtics. Yo, bro. Yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Whoever voted just amount, the enough amount of votes, bro, to not make sure Derek White was... Bro, let me tell y'all this right now. Derek White would have made the all-star team, bro. I would have been done watching the NBA into the playoffs. I, I, I promise you not. Because at this point, you might as well draft me, my nigga. To be completely honest, the reason that the Celtics have been playing as good as they are this year is literally because of Derek White, bro. Hate to admit it, but it's the truth. It's like ever since this nigga went bald, nigga turned into a light-skinned Michael Jordan. The floor by Mobley. White God, when the hell did he get good like this, bro? The Cavaliers are most likely going to get swept. So this is well-deserved. Derek White at 87. Pascal Siakam, 88 overall. Okay, I can't get upset about this. They didn't D-Rod and put you in the 90s, but you're also not too low either. Jalen Williams is a 88 over? Yeah, I don't know about this, bro. Do you know that an 88 overall is two overalls away from being a 90 overall? Nah, bro. This is the first one I have a problem with, bro. Jalen Williams, I understand he's a great player, bro. But this is dick riding. He's a good player that complements Shea Gigius. He is not this fucking close to a 90 overall, Ronnie. It's the playoffs now, so I have actually been watching full sports games, bro. But take Shea Gigius off this team, and nobody would even know who Jalen Williams is, bro. I'm tired of you niggas boosting somebody's ratings all because somebody else on their team is doing good. Jalen Williams is an 85 overall tops, bro. This guy is literally like an 83 to 85 overall player. Like, this is complete dick riding, bro. Take Shea Gigius Alexander off the thunder, and Jalen Williams will literally be averaging about 10 points. Like, like I said, Jalen Williams is a good player, but no, bro, stop it. Bro, back in the early 2Ks, if you were an 88 overall, you were literally a all-star, bro. Is Jalen Williams a fucking all-star? No. 88 overall, do you understand that's basically a 90? If this guy has another great game, he's gonna be a 90 overall next week. I don't care, bro. No. How many jersey sales does Jalen Williams have? And I'm not talking about the other nigga that has the same name. How many jersey sales does this Jalen Williams dude have? All because he's on a good team does not mean he has to be an 88 overall. Now, shout out to Jalen Williams. This is no hate, but bro, we gotta be honest on these ratings. Kyrie! is a 93 overall he jumped from a 91 now first off i remember in some of my previous videos i think Kyrie was like an 88 or an 89 why was he ever this low in the first place i don't know Kyrie should be like a 95 overall bro like, I understand you guys were blackballing Kyrie since he didn't get the row row shot. He be saying weird shit like the earth is flat. 
But like, come on now, bro. Kyrie is literally the most skilled basketball player of all time, bro. I did not say he's the best. I said he is the most skilled. The things that this guy does with the basketball, this guy is literally like a fucking wizard, bro. There's no reason this guy should ever drop below a 93 overall. This guy is a 95 overall, to be completely honest. Now, I remember in a previous ratings update video, y'all had Tyrese Hamburger at a fucking 94 overall. This just goes to show you guys how bad this game is and how inaccurate these ratings are. But Kyrie Irving is a 93 overall. Fuck you, Ronnie. Jalen Brunchin, a 94 overall. Now, I know some of you guys might think this is undeserved, but like I said, now it is the playoffs. Playoffs are a completely different story. And Jalen Brunchin is averaging like 40 points every time I see the Knicks play. He's hitting shot after shot from the mid-range, from the three. Bro, I seen that Jalen Brunchin already has more Nick playoff points than Carmelo Anthony. Jalen Brunchin is that nigga, bro. If he was doing this in the regular season, yes, I would say you 2K devs are dick riding. But when you're literally hitting all these clutch shots and averaging like 30 and 40 points per game in the playoffs you deserve to be a 94 overall shout out to Jalen Brunson bro you gotta respect it this guy is like what 6-1 6-2 maybe just cooking every single game bro and when you can actually perform at Madison Square Garden, the mecca of basketball, New York, you have nothing but my respect, bro. 94 is well-deserved. And last but not least, Anthony Edwards, 95 overall. Wow, he jumped up from a 91 to a 95. Now, I have absolutely no problem with this overall. But let me tell you what I do have a problem with, Ronald, Ronnie 2K. Do you guys notice something different about this Anthony Edwards graphic? Different from all the graphics you've seen in this video. Where the fuck is Anthony Edwards' face scan? You showed every single player's face scan. But when you get to Anthony Edwards, you want to show his back? Show him dunking? Do you guys know why they did this? This guy is a 95 overall. But look at his NBA 2K24 face scan. Who the fuck is this? Imagine being a 95 overall. One of the best players in the NBA. And this is what 2K does to your face scan. Who is this? This is complete fucking violation, bro. This is literally why no one plays this game, bro. This is literally a created player. Who is this? This NPC face scan. They just grabbed a random face scan from somebody in the crowd and put it on Anthony Edwards. Remind you guys, this has been his face scan all year long. Matter of fact, this might be the same face scan from like last year. You 2K devs are some lazy sons of bitches, bro. I hope you guys are watching this, bro. You guys want to ban people for VC glitches. 
You guys are putting about seven or eight seasons in a game that nobody asked for. You guys are updating every little fucking thing in this game that nobody cares about, bro. You guys are adding cities. All these extra rewards that nobody gives a fuck about, bro. But you guys can't even update the face scan of one of the best players in the fucking league, bro. Fuck you, Ronnie, and fuck you, Mike Wang, bro. Hope all the devs trip over their shoelace in the morning. Unacceptable, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. I was not expecting to get this mad over this video, bro. I'm literally raising my blood pressure over a NBA 2K24 ratings video in May of 2024, bro. This just goes to show you how bad this game is, bro. And instead of updating his face scan, you guys literally just hide his face scan and show his back. You guys are fucking, oh my gosh, I hate you guys, bro. Genuinely, bro. How hard is it to update a face scan? My nigga, there's literally like hundreds and hundreds of players in the NBA. Bro, I've seen players that literally never touch the floor have perfectly accurate face scans, bro. So what is the problem with Anthony Edwards? Did Anthony Edwards fuck one of you 2K Debs' girl? Like, update his face scan. I gotta end this video before I, like, actually start crashing out, bro. If you guys think this is crashing out, bro, no. I am extremely relaxed right now, bro. But like I said, man, I'm gonna keep watching these playoffs. I'm gonna keep seeing you guys fuck up these ratings, bro. I just asked one thing for y'all in the comment section, bro. Can y'all please like this video, bro? Yes, you watching right now. You guys don't understand how stress I got from reacting to these ratings, bro. And I don't know, man. If enough of y'all spam the like button, maybe, just maybe, they will update Anthony Edwards' face scan, bro. If enough of y'all spam the like button, I believe they will update this guy's face scan, bro. This is actually probably the most disrespectful thing I will see all month. Porter and Gordon. And it's your oh. Oh. That's my type of hit. That's my type of fit. That's my type of drip. Yeah, I'm out here getting rich.